Collaborating in BIM 360 Docs requires two steps. First, we invite people to our project, and then we grant them access to any folders that they'll need. In this session, we'll take care of the first part by adding members to a project. As you can see, we're picking up where we left off in the last session. I have BIM 360 Docs open, and I'm in a project called Kensington Square. Currently, this project has only two folders. Plans, which contains PDF plan sheets, and then another folder called Project Files. If you'll indulge me for just a second, I'd like to add a couple more folders to this project. To add a folder, I can click the ellipsis button next to the folder name. In the menu, I'll choose Add Subfolder. I'm going to call this one Correspondence, and I'll press Enter. Another way we can add subfolders is by right-clicking the folder name. We get the same menu. I'll call this one Documentation, and let's create one more. We'll call this one Models. It's important to note that these folders can contain subfolders as well. Let's add a subfolder to documentation. I'll call it standards, and then I will add another called specifications. If a folder contains subfolders, we can click this toggle to expand or contract the directories. We can do the same thing by clicking this project files icon. At this point, I am starting to build out a directory tree here below this line. That said, if I click this ellipsis, I could build out a tree above the line as well. Let's click on screen to close the menu. All right, let's invite some people to this project. To do that, I'll open the module selector, and I'll choose Project Admin. From the Project Admin module, I'll select Members. Here I can see a listing of all of the members that have been invited to this project. That includes their status, email, company, role, and access rights. To add a new member, I'll click the Add button. I will then enter the member's name or email address. For this example, I'd like to add my colleague, Alan Gilbert. I'm going to start typing his name. As I do, you can see that he is recognized. This is because Alan is already a member of at least one other project on this account. So I can click this shortcut to add him to this project. I would also like to add my colleague, Jerry Bartles. As you can see, he is recognized as well. If this is the first time you're adding someone to a project, you can simply use their email address. I'm going to enter an email address for a consultant named Morty Hackett. When finished, I'll press Enter. I will then come down and click Select. From here, I can adjust new member settings. We'll start over here on the right. This is where we control the member's access to the various BIM 360 services. Right now, we have just the one, Document Management. If additional services were activated for this account, we would see more icons here. Note that these are toggles. In this case, Alan Gilbert is a member, but if I click this, I can remove his membership. I will, however, get a warning saying that Alan needs access to something in order to be part of this project. Let's add him back to the Document Management Service. Using these toggles to the left, I can make any of these people a project administrator. Next, I have the option of assigning each member a role. Clicking in the field pops up a menu with roles I can choose from. I'm going to make Alan a project engineer. I will also make Jerry a project engineer. Morty's going to be a designer, but before I click that role, I'm going to choose Document Manager. I do this to show you that some of the roles will automatically assign access rights. That said, you can override those settings if you want. Let me click in the Role field again, and I'll choose Contractor. I do this to show you that members can have multiple roles if necessary. I'm going to hit the backspace keys to take these away, and let's make Morty a designer. Finally, we'll assign companies. Alan works for Autodesk. Jerry Bartles also works for Autodesk. The list that I'm seeing here shows me all of the companies that are currently recognized by the account. These are companies that are being used in at least one other project. If the company is new to the account, I can simply type its name in this field. For this example, I'll type Hackett Design Services and press Enter. When finished, I'll come up and choose Add to Project. BIM 360 Docs then confirms the new members have been added. Along with this confirmation, each new member is sent an email, much like the one we see on screen, containing an invitation to join the Kensington Square project. All they have to do is click the Activate button to start collaborating. Let's return to BIM 360 Docs. Here we can see the updated member list. One final thing, membership to a project does not have to be permanent. Selecting the box next to a member's name provides a way to remove the member. Note we can also use this option to resend an invitation. For now, I'm going to keep things the way they are, so I'll deselect this member, and then I'll return to BIM 360 Docs by selecting the Document Management module. All right, now that we've invited people to collaborate with us on this project, we need to grant them access to one or more folders over here in the directory tree. We'll do that in the next session.
Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.